Welcome to St. Fiacra's Farm. Today we're making a skincare recipe from Jan Berry's book. Jan Berry is known online as the author of the Nerdy Farm Wife blog where she shares wonderful herbal recipes. We hope you enjoy this recipe from our farm to your home. So the first step to making this recipe is we need to infuse an oil with violet leaf. Um, violet leaf helps to calm redness and irritation and it looks like this. See here, it's just a leaf. First we need some tools. We're going to need a canning jar, some organic coconut oil, and some dried violet leaf. We're going to take our jar and we're going to fill it about a quarter of the way with violet leaf. Our next step is going to be adding the coconut oil to the jar. We want it to go almost to the top there. Press that down a little bit so we get enough oil in our jar. And this might stick out just a little bit because it's solid right now. There we go. The next thing we're going to need is a large pot. I fill it up maybe a quarter of the way with water. And we're going to place our jar in here and use this as sort of a double boiler. After you get your jar into your pot, you're going to want to turn the stove on to a medium low. We're gonna start there and see how it goes. And then eventually the water will get warm, it will melt the oil, and it'll simmer for two hours. And we will come back and check on it in a bit. Next, you're going to want to get the rest of your ingredients ready. So first you're going to want a kitchen scale or this is a shipping scale, it'll work too. Something that's going to read 0.7 ounce. Then we're going to weigh out our beeswax. This is a local beeswax that we got from our local beekeeper and it comes in a big one pound block and we melt it down into these little pieces so that it's easier to use. So we're going to go ahead and weigh this out, turn our scale on, and we need 17 grams of beeswax. The next thing we're going to weigh organic shea butter. Organic shea butter. Um, organic shea butter from Essential Depot. We'll put the link below. So we need 23 grams. Now that we've measured out our beeswax and our shea butter, we're going to add our French green cosmetic clay and we need a half of a teaspoon. Here I have a quarter of a teaspoon so we're going to put in two of those. One and two in there and then we're going to add this to our oils and warm them up and melt it down. We're checking back in on our pot here with our violet leaf and our coconut oil and I'm using my Instapot rack and set the jar on top of that and added some more water to bring the level up closer to the coconut oil. And now we won't have to worry about our jar touching the bottom of the pan while the coconut oil melts and simmers with the violet leaf so that it infuses. And we've got, oh, about an hour or more left here. So we'll check back in as soon as the oil starts to melt. All right, so our oils have been infusing for two hours or more in the coconut oil. And now we are going to strain them. To do that, we need a pitcher that we're gonna heat up in, or you can use your glass jar again. And we have a strainer with some cheesecloth over it. So we're going to pour this in here. So 
So then we're going to take that oil. So we're going to take our tea cloth. Squeeze it out there. Get all the oil out as best we can. And we're going to save this so we can just strain the rest. And we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Now we have our other ingredients that we already measured out. We have our green French clay. We have our, our butter and our wax. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it in the oil. Alright, now that those are in there, we're going to go put them on the heat and we're going to melt it down. So, here we have a pot of hot water. We're going to put our pot in another pot, in another pot, and it's got about an inch of water in there and we've already got it headed towards a boil, but what this is going to do is it's going to heat and melt our wax and our oil and it's going to mix them together and then we will get ready to pour them into a bar mold. So we're going to check our mixture here and see how it's doing. It looks like it's done. We're going to swirl it around try and mix in that French green clay so it spreads evenly. And we're going to take it over here to our mold. I have these oval molds. And this particular recipe is probably only going to make one for the size of the mold I have. They're pretty deep. So we're going to make sure that it gets mixed in really good. Everything's melted well. There's no chunks of butter or wax in there. And we're going to pour it in our mold. So that just needs to cool. 